Why, hello, Aruski, everybody! It's good to see Aruski! It's good to see... It... Well, that didn't work out as planned. I was going to do a really, like, exciting intro and welcome you all to Apostolic Sunday School Daily Devotion Quarantine Edition, but it, I guess, it didn't work out the way I anticipated it going. <laughs> you know, that's the way things go in life sometimes. Sometimes we have plans, but things happen differently and we have to adapt to them because we know that God has a master plan and he's got it all taken care of. Anyway, this is day number 53, 5, 3, 53. Day eight. Sorry, it's day eight. <laughs> day. Yeah, day eight. No. 53! No, it's day 53! Oh my good. Wait. 38. It's day 38. Okay. <laughs> my fingers get me in trouble. I don't understand. Anyway, <sighs> it's day number 53, and it's time for another mini object lesson. It's from a young lady. Her name is Layla Joy. Everybody, let's give a big hand for our object lesson of the day, Layla Joy! Layla, today I'm doing a little object lesson about fear. So this glass right here represents my body. This baking soda represents fear. And this and this um, vinegar represents God. So when fear comes into our lives and we're not noticing, like what's some fear? Um, if coronavirus, that could give you some fear. You're scared. Or someone dying, that's a lot of fear. Or you losing your job, that's some fear. And if someone's being rude to you and you're scared of what they're going to do next because they said, I'm going to do something to you later, that's some fear. And then fear comes into your lives and you want to push it out and get it out. If you pray and ask God, please help me to get my fear out of my body. And then you turn to God, and then God takes your, your fear out, just like that. I hope you liked my object lesson. I'll see you later. Great job, Layla! You guys are doing a great job in these object lessons. You know what? You guys are going to be taking my job. You guys are going to be doing all the object lessons, and that's cool. I want that to happen. You can be the Sunday school teachers of tomorrow and see God change lots and lots of people through you. Now, that's pretty exciting. Now, uh, time now for my favorite time, because <clears throat> I'm a dad, for the joke of the day! Take it away! And now it's time for your joke of the day. The other day we were eating at a restaurant and the waitress said, super salad. I looked at her and said, uh, no, I'll just take a regular salad. The super one sounds scary. <laughs> super salad! <laughs> super, a super salad. Boy, a super salad is funny. I don't, I don't know why. You know what? I just started laughing at jokes because I don't get them. And so I figured if I laugh at them, everybody will think that I got them. <laughs> so <laughs> that was a great one. <laughs> All right, so today I am going to give you one more hint for the scavenger hunt. So far, we know it's very big. We know it's not inside your house. And today, the hint to win $5 to Amazon. If you think you know what it is, take a picture of it and send it to me at info at apostolicsundayschool.com. But the hint for today, the third hint for the scavenger hunt is, this is made up of a bunch of smaller things. Hmm. It's really big. It's not inside your house. And it's made up of a bunch of smaller things. What could that be? <laughs> well, we'll figure it out soon. But right now, we're going to do an object lesson. And I'm going to have someone help me. His name is Ryla Ruski. Everybody, let's give Ryla Ruski a big hand. All right. Hey, Ryla, are you happy to be here? Yes. Now, last time, I had a bunch of people tell me you fell asleep up here. I know. I know. You were just like... <laughs> so, you're going to have to wake up, or I'm going to have to jag you. Woo! Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, we're going to have a lot of fun. Okay? Have you ever seen this before? Well, uh, these. You know what these are? No. Nails. Very good. And you, my friend, have one very simple task ahead of you. You have to take all of these nails, 
There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. A team of them, and you have to do the simple task of balancing them on top of this one nail. Good luck. Okay. Well, why he uh, goes ahead with this very simple challenge, I have some questions for you guys. Does anybody here know that there are lots of things in life to be concerned about? Do you? I know I do. In fact, the older I get, the more things there are to be concerned about. But even as young people, even as kids, sometimes there are things that can worry us. Things we got to figure out. Oh, no, not like that, young man. No, you got to balance those on this, not that on that. A nice try. Nice try. Yeah. But what, what's, what's something that you have to worry about on a daily basis? What's something that you have to be concerned with? Schoolwork. Schoolwork. Yes. You have to be concerned with school. Is anybody here doing homework? Maybe homeschool? Hmm. Yep. And that's something that can be a little tough, a little worrying. And uh, <clears throat> young man, this way, and balance them on top of that. Nice try. You are being very creative, though. So school is something that we have to worry about. So, so one of these could be school. How about your relationship with your parents? you got to be concerned about the relationship with your, with your mom, relationship with your dad. How about your brother and sister? Does anybody have a brother and sister that sometimes it can be a little hard to not argue with? It's okay to say that. Your brother and your sister, stuff like this. How about, hey, Riley. How about your relationship with God? Does that take some work sometimes, your relationship with God? Yeah, it does. Relationship with God? You gotta pray right. You gotta read your Bible. You gotta do work. Maybe it's chores around the house, or maybe as you get older, you actually have a job. You got something you have to do. Maybe your parents are asking you to mow the lawn, or maybe just make your bed or whatever. That's work, right? How about you, how about your health? Do you need to be concerned about your health? Brushing your teeth every day? How about your friends? You got to be concerned about your friends, right? And you got more than one friend. You got several. So all of these things we got to be concerned with. And so the question I have for you, Riley, and it looks like something you're struggling with as well, is how do we keep all of these things in balance? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. How do we balance all of these different things? How do we make sure that we're spending the amount of time on all of them and doing it right? I don't know. You know what? I don't either. But I do know that there's someone that does know. You know who that is? God. That's right. It's God. God knows how to keep everything in balance. And somehow all of those different things, the schoolwork and the chores and all the things that we have going on, we got to keep all those things in balance. But God, he's not worried about it. And if you put it in his hands, there, I'm going to give these to you. Hand them to me. Because today I'm going to pretend I'm God. Put them in my hands. Because I actually know how to do this. Like this. We're just going to give it to God. So don't bump the table, okay? We're going to lay it down just like this. So I'm going to help you, okay? Because God helps us figure it out, okay? So I'm going to hand this to you. And I want you just to lay it down just like that, okay? We're actually going to scoot it over a little bit. Perfect. And then I'm going to hand you this one. And you're going to lay it this way, okay? We don't have to figure it all out. We'll let God help us figure it out. And just keep going back and forth, okay? Put that one. And then God says, I'm going to help you. Here, you do the next one. And I'll do this one. You do the next one. And I'll do this one. I'll show you guys a little more in a second. You'll, it'll, this will make sense. It might be hard to see from where you're at. That one. You do that one. And I'll do this one. Now, if you base everything on God, you see this bottom nail? That is your relationship with God. As long as everything is on that, it's all going to work out. It's all going to make sense. So if you put God first, the Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Watch this, Riley. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to ask you to move that right in the middle. Can you move it in the middle of the table? Then make sure we don't bump it, okay? Okay. Okay, here we go. So this here. We're going to put it all in God's hands. And with him doing it, are these glued together? Are they taped together? Are they welded together? Nope. But watch this. When you put it in God's hands, just like that, 14 massive nails that we couldn't figure out how it was all going to come into balance, but God knows how to do it, doesn't he? Yes. You may not understand how to, how to get everything prioritized properly, but you know what? Pray about it. Read your Bible. Say, God, help me, and he's going to help you. Yeah. You can get your life all taken care of. You know what? That's pretty cool. And I know God is an awesome God. Put him first, Riley, and everything's going to be all right.
Until next time, guys, thank you so much for being with us. We'll see you at 3 o'clock tomorrow. Bye.